We want cannon air. 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 From Union people, Yo, what passion, yeah. my people, our people. I don't. I didn't come here today mm -hmm. to be disrespectful to anyone. Well, if you did, then I will ask that you refrain. Do not act like others with insulting behavior. Thank you. That is not us. Thank you. If we're going to emulate anything, let us emulate good behavior. Thank you. Mr. Premier, as outlined in the letter sent to you earlier this week, please be clear that we, the request, we are requesting the following of your government. The term limit policy, as outlined by the former minister, the Honorable Patrice K. Minus, JP, in the document dated 2012, be reinstated immediately. We know that your government has deceived the public by stating that the United States and Canada has done away with term limits, when in actual fact, yes. both right. countries continue to have term limits in place finish, for migrant finish. workers. Right, come to China! Hey, yeah, send it somewhere else. Stay out of order. From you to let me just first start off by saying thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Ms. Otterbridge. Uh, for the time that we've had together and the prayers that we have shared together, the conversations we've had. Uh, <clears throat> I recognize this as a democratic right for Bermudians to stand before the House of Assembly to bring your concerns in this fashion. This is not a bad thing, this is a good thing. <clears throat> and so I recognize that and we hear the voices, we hear your concern. Let me first say by uh, addressing the situation and the word xenophobia, which we all know and recognize as a fear of foreigners. I recognize that in this political arena that there is no place for the word xenophobia of the fears that we have. The fears that we have are that we are at this time in our economic history unable to find jobs, unable to feed ourselves, many families, unable to find many of the issues that are concerning us as a country. Why have we not found ways to get our Bermudians back into many of these jobs? But I also, I also additionally want to be sure and make sure you understand that this is a situation that we have acquired. We do not give those jobs away. What we have done is acquired the situation. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Now we get a word in. Yes, I'm sitting here, man. Give me all this I recognize that the one Bermuda Alliance was not the government at time of many of these situations that have acquired, but what we will do is endeavor to work together to ensure that we tackle this problem together. All ministers, the one minister to me. Let me speak to you. Ladies and gentlemen, can you hear me? Please let the Premier, please give him the dignity to speak. You, you came to hear him speak. You came to hear him speak. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Or we will have to shut it down. Let him finish. And so what we will, what we will endeavor to do... And don't start to do it. And what we will endeavor... Every day you don't speak. So how do I get me to bring up the people?
people. Don't yell me nothing. You need to send these gas workers to them so the Bermudians can get a job. I'm sick and tired of people making promises. You tell our young people that you are going to be a different party. You're not a new party.